Hello, everyone. Good morning, all of you. So good morning, Hari. Yeah, very good morning. Hi, Hari. Yeah, hi. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Yeah, yeah. Are you able to see my screen clearly? Yes. yes sir. Yeah, yeah, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Out. Out. Shall we start the class? Yes. Yes. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. See, guys. From tomorrow onwards, everyone, please join our class. Sharp seven thirty-five a.m. From tomorrow onwards, I will start our class exactly seven thirty-five a.m. Is it clear for everyone? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Clear. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. I am going to mute all of you for avoiding background disturbances. From tomorrow onwards, everyone, please join our class seven thirty-five a. All right. And one more thing. Did you receive my SLS recording video, everyone? Yes, yeah, yeah, we received. Yes, yes, okay. yes. yes. Okay, fine. Yeah. Okay, let's continue on to the steps. So far, we have seen what is the importance of RDP port, RDP port, as well as SSH port, and even our SLS class. In our SLS class, we have seen what is the importance of HTTP port. If you don't open HTTP port for your website, it is not possible to access internet. Three three eight nine. Twenty-two. Port number eight zero. If you want to enter instead of any Windows operating system, you have to open RDP port. Once if you open incoming port as well as outgoing port, it will work. If you want to access, if you want to enter instead of any Linux operating system on this planet, mandatorily you have to open SSH secure shell. Twenty-two number. Incoming port automatically will be opened as well as outgoing port also. If you want internet for your website, you have to open HTTP Hypertext Transfer Protocol. What is the number? A zero. These are the importance of these port numbers. Today, today we will discuss some more topics. Some more topics. Today I will explain about one more port. This is also very very important. HTTPS. HTTPS. If I ask, if I ask you, many people say that yes means security. But here, what do you, what do you mean by security? First of all, what is security? What do you mean by security? And why it is so secure? For example, once if I open this port number. Once if I open this port number, why it is so secure? How it is secure? What do you mean by secure? Many people they are unable to give the proper answer. So in our today's class, first we will discuss about HTTPS. After that, some of the topics we will discuss when it comes to EC2 instance. All right. Today we will discuss about. HTTPS. What is the port number? Four, four three. Hypertext transfer protocol and security. Why it is so secure and how you are getting this secure security? Let's discuss. This is the port number. Only these four port numbers are very very important. RDP, SSH, HTTP, HTTPS. Remaining port numbers are not important. First of all, you no need to remember either port name or port number.
First, I will create one diagram. According to that diagram, we will follow all the steps. Let's imagine this is this is your computer. Let's imagine this is your computer. This is your computer. And let's imagine that you are having one account in SBA bank. Either SBA bank, otherwise HDFC, it could be any bank. Let's imagine. You people are having one savings account in some bank. Let's say SBA, State Bank of India. This is one more computer. This is high configuration computer. That high configuration computer only here we call it as server. Server means high configuration computer. Instead of this computer, let's imagine here yeah, we have installed web software. Web software. Once after installing this web software, this computer will become web server. Here, yeah, this computer will become web server. Web server. Instead of this computer, after installing this web software, it will become web server. Next. After that, here what we will do is, instead of this computer, let's imagine we put, otherwise we keep SBA website. This is like a SBA website, State Bank of India. Website is running. SBI website. Some people they call it as website. Some other people they call it as web application. Website means a group of pages. Group of pages. I mean each and every option is one each and every option is one page. A group of pages you can see. SBI website. All right. So that is the reason here I am calling it as it is a SBI server. Either you can call it as SBI web server. Otherwise, even you can call it as SBI server. This is one normal computer. Instead of this computer, we have installed web software. That is the reason. Let's imagine. It will become web server. After that, what you can do? You can put any application. For example, SBI bank website. So right now, instead of this computer, SBI application is run. Let's imagine. You are having one savings account in this bank, SBI bank. Generally, how can you access this website? What are the details you can provide? By using online internet banking website. Bank people, they will provide username as well as password for opening website. Correct or not? Opening your account. Here, you just want to verify what is the balance which is available in your SBI bank website, SBI bank account. So here you can provide username. Username. After that, you can provide password. P-A-S-S W-O-R-T. You just open www.sbi online internet banking website. Then you just provide username after that password. Once after providing username and password, immediately what will happen? Request. Request will go to already here. See guys, this is SBI web server. SBI, SBI server. Already SBI people, they have opened 
they have opened http incoming port as well as http outgoing port and not only that one let's imagine if it is if it is windows computer already rdp port opened already rdp port they will open for example if it is linux computer they will open ssh port they will open ssh port but here we don't want to enter inside of this computer that is what you have to understand i mean just just we want to access website for that reason just we need internet for this computer if they open http port we can we can access that website but here you no need to go inside of this computer please remember that point when you can go for example this computer it is having some problem you are here software injury that time for doing troubleshooting you can enter this computer i mean normal people you no need to enter here you are just one customer you are having one account with sbi bank you just want to see your balance otherwise you just want to do some kind of transactions for that reason you no need to enter inside of this computer if i open http ports so that you can access that website all all transactions you can do that is the reason as of now you just forget about either it is windows computer or linux computer you just forget about rdp port as well as ssh port at this moment at this moment we have opened here http port for internet purpose already sbi people they have opened once if i enter username and password what will happen in immediately request will go to this computer request will go to this computer because of this incoming port http this incoming port this is like a request 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 will go inside of this computer and it will load that website web application so that it will fetch because of your name and password it will fetch all your account details and it will fetch your account balance what is the money which is available in your account after fetching all those details with the help of outgoing port http again response will come back to your computer response will come back to your computer here you can see balance here you can see some balance like this yeah. hacker people they will be available here hacker what is the purpose of hacker people generally here you can see the hacker people available here i mean he is one hacker first of all what they do what is the purpose of hacker people <clears throat> they try to hack bank accounts they try to hack computers they try to hack bank accounts they try to hack computers whatever the data they want to steal whatever the data they want to take they can take they can take here also exactly same situation you are you are typing your username and password your username and password from your computer to this sbi server computer it is traveling it is going in a plain text format let me write it here your request your request is your request is going in a plain text format plain text format means anyone can see your username anyone can see your password anyone can see your username password and anyone can understand username and password so hacker will be available here he can take he can read your username and he can read your password he can understand 
with the help of that username and password he can do some kind of manipulations some kind of transactions from your account money to some other accounts it will be like this so that is the purpose of hacker but here we have to understand one thing that hacker people generally they are having so much of talent so much of talent okay they are having so much of knowledge <clears throat> but hacker people they are not at all utilizing their intelligent brain for doing legal activities always they try to utilize that much of intelligent brain for illegal activities one fine day police people they will catch you because of doing illegal transactions and all those things but here hacker people are very very intelligent people compared to normal people okay once after hacking your details they can do something correct na today morning i have seen today morning i have opened sbi bank account let's imagine 50000 rupees are available 50000 tomorrow or day after tomorrow once if i open sbi bank account after that i can see everything is 000 after that what is our situation generally from next time onwards if this same situation happens to everyone i mean how many people are having account in this sbi bank if the same situation happens to each and every person from next time onwards will you believe sbi bank for saving money no instead we will choose some other banks correct or not that means one by one everyone we will close accounts what are the accounts which are having it is sbi bank if everyone closes their accounts that is the biggest loss for this sbi bank that is the biggest loss for this state bank of india here to resolve this problem sbi bank people generally what they do to resolve this kind of problem sbi bank people they talk to some third party companies they talk to some third party companies those third party companies are registered with the government registered with our indian government not even state government even it is like a central government okay central ones those third party companies are responsible to provide security certificates listen carefully to resolve this kind of problems sbi bank people otherwise some other bank people they talk to third party companies those third party companies are registered with government those third party companies are responsible to provide security certificates those security certificates only here we call it as ssl ssl either you can call it as security certificates security certificates otherwise even you can call it as secure socket layer ssl means secure socket layer secure socket layer either you can call it as security certificates otherwise secure socket layer third party company people they will provide these ssl certificates so here yes third party company people they will provide these ssl certificates to bank people not only one bank all banks generally here we are talking about sbi bank sbi bank people what they will do in order to take these certificates from these third party company people sbi bank people they have to pay some money to these third party companies here requirement is not only paying the money your criteria is not only paying the money 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 only money is not a criteria for example i would like to apply passport let's imagine you want to apply passport do you think only money is criteria if you give money immediately will you get a passport do you think so not only money 
even once after applying passport police people they will come to your house they will do background verification whether this person is good person or not in this person he is involved in any criminal activities or not any uh, cases are available on his name or not they will verify complete your background verification correct or not? if you don't have any kind of criminal background then only they will provide passport to you otherwise they will reject your passport that means here criteria is your behavior and money if both are positive then only we will be getting passport exactly the same way here also only money not criteria those third party company people they will come to sbi bank physically so wherever branches are available they will go to all branches and they will verify everything whatever the data sbi bank people they are storing they are securing whether that content is genuine data or fake data related to customers how many customers are available hmm? how these sbi bank people they are storing they are securing public money people money like you want me customers money so first point they will verify whether it is genuine content or fake content is it legally accepted or not with all rules and not only that one sbi bank people they are following central government rules or not especially reserve bank of india rules or not and not only physical verification even they will open sbi bank website also after opening that web, sbi bank website they will look into each and every option whether each and every option is correct correct option or not i mean related to this bank transactions or not that each and every option also what how they are securing public money i mean what kind of mechanism they are using for avoiding this kind of hacker attacks everything they will verify once after checking all these things then only this third party company people they will provide these security certificates to sbi bank people sbi bank people let me write it so if everything is good then only they will provide ssl certificates to sbi bank people each and every ssl certificate each and every ssl certificate here it is having two keys this is like a ssl certificate let's imagine inside it is having two keys this is one key and this is another key this key is like a encryption key encryption key encryption key encryption means it is like a unreadable format unreadable format what do you mean by unreadable format i mean it is not possible to read cannot cannot read that is a mean and one more file is one more key it is like a decryption key decryption one is encryption and another one is decryption decryption means it is readable format readable format i mean here you can read it is possible to read can read these are the keys will be available instead of each and every ssl certificate all right so these ssl certificates third party company people they will provide to sbi bank people once after receiving 
these ssl certificates from third party company people that moment onwards that moment onwards sbi bank people once after receiving these certificates <clears throat> the moment this sbi bank people get these certificates then onwards they are eligible to open one port card https after receiving these certificates that moment onwards sbi bank people they are eligible to open one port card https this is https incoming port this is https outgoing port outgoing port now let's try to understand the scenario now here sbi bank people already they have opened https incoming port as well as https outgoing port now you would like to verify your balance account so here you are providing username and password once after providing username and password again your request is going but this time your request is going in a encrypted format your request is going in a encrypted format through this https incoming port once after reaching this computer sbi web server once after reaching this computer internally inside of this computer here your request is encrypted from your computer to this sbi computer once after reaching this sbi computer inside it will decrypt here it will decrypt decrypt means it is like a it will go in a plain text it will go in a plain text and it will load that sbi website and it will load your account it will fetch all your account details it will find out all your account details once after finding out all your account details then till here it is like a decryption decryption means normal format normal format at the time of reaching this computer at the time of coming out from this sbi bank server again automatically because of this https it will encrypt it will encrypt it will encrypt response and will come back to your computer once after reaching your computer once after reaching your computer again inside of your computer it will be like a it will decrypt automatically after decrypting so here you can see your bank balance i mean from here to here it is like a encrypt instead of this computer it will decrypt here to here it will encrypt instead of this computer it will decrypt and even instead of your computer also it will decrypt that is a mean he now also hacker will be available here only now also hacker is available here but here this is encrypted this is encrypted format that is the reason he can see your username and he can see your password now also but he cannot read he cannot understand your username and password that is the reason he cannot do anything it is like this for example i have some data i can see the data but i cannot read the data i cannot understand the data then what is the need of keeping the data with me that is completely useless so what i will do simply anyhow that is not at all important i cannot read i cannot understand so simply what i will do i will throw it into dustbin correct or not unwanted data what is the use of keeping with us there is no usage this time also hacker will be available here only he can see your data but he cannot read he cannot understand he cannot read and he cannot understand it is like a indian people uh, reading china newspaper you can see letters but is it possible to understand no is it possible to read no here also exactly same scenario like this bank people are protecting bank people are protecting our money not only one bank each and every bank these certificates these ssl certificates are valid these ssl certificates are valid only for 2 to 3 years not more than that 
only two to three years, these SSL certificates are valid. These SSL certificates, third party company people, they will provide. See guys, all banks will be coming under, will be coming under not state government, central government. So <clears throat> that is also, please remember. And once after completing two to three years, again, all these bank people, what they have to do? I mean, after two to three years, these certificates, again, they will expire. They will expire. Again, these bank people, they have to do renewal process. At the time of doing renewal process, again, these third party company people, they will come to these banks physically, as well as they will open website. Again, they will verify everything before renewal, these certificates. Again, they will verify is it genuine content or not? Is it legally accepted by Indian government or not? Following Reserve Bank of India rules or not? Everything they will verify. Once after verifying everything, if it is following all these rules, then only these third party company people, again, they will renew these certificates. This is how it will work. For example, you people are having one doubt that, okay, everything is fine. Yeah, without buying, without buying these certificates. Understand? Without buying these certificates, if you open HTTPS port number here, if you open HTTPS outgoing port here, without buying these certificates, then what will happen? Without buying these certificates from third party company people, if you open HTTPS incoming port as well as outgoing port, in this scenario, HTTPS acts, acts like a, acts like HTTP only. In this scenario, there is no difference between HTTPS and HTTP. Without buying these certificates from third party company people, if you open in that scenario, HTTPS ports exactly acts like a HTTP board. In this scenario, there is no difference between HTTPS and HTTP. Let me show you. You just open. Here you just type Google. So how to open SBA website? Do you know? SBA net banking. Here you can see retail.onlinesbi.org. Otherwise, even here also you can see online SBA.org. Once after opening any bank, not only this SBA, you just open any website, HDFC, ICIC, HSBC, City Bank, Access, whatever you know. Not only our Indian banks, even international banks. Now here you can see one lock symbol. Correct? Just to select this lock symbol. Once after selecting this lock symbol, here you can see connection is secure. Connection is secure. Now just to select this, this option. Once after selecting, here you can see your information. For example, password, everything, card number is private. They have given passwords and credit card numbers, everything, it is like a private. Next, certificate is valid, issued to State Bank of India. Now you just select here. Once if I select, it has opened one more small dialog box. Here you can see, issued to retail.onlinesbi. Next, issued by DGCERT. I told you, right, the third party company people that this is the third party company. This company people, they have provided certificates to SBI bank. The third party company name is DigiSat. Valid from 2020 to 2022, only two years. After 2022 February, these SBI bank people, again, they have to renew these SSL certificates. It is like this. Certificate you can see minimum two years, maximum three years, not more than that. So this is how 
each and every bank people they are securing our content our account our account details from hackers i hope it is clear this is the importance of https see normal websites https is not required for example any business is involving with public money any business if it is involving with money public hmm, people people money so especially when it comes to that kind of business that kind of website 100% it is mandatory to buy those certificates we need to take approvals from government then only everything will be possible otherwise it is not possible normal websites you no need to open for example so many websites you can see normal websites i mean uh, who are the websites they are not at all involving money related things financial related things those are just normal websites it is like that i hope it is clear this is the importance of https portal now we will discuss about status checks what do you mean by status checks let me open aws website how to open aws website here you just type google after that here you just type aws space console just press enter here you can see aws dot amazon dot com just to select aws management console either you can select this option otherwise even you can select this option you can select any option once after selecting you can see like this just to provide your gmail and then just click on next provide here these characters z b n t x 4 just click on submit provide password my password already saved just click on sign in in case if you did not create accounts in this aws please create whenever you are having completed right now which region we can see city we can select any region really it doesn't matter here you can see recently visited services you can see ec2 for example if you are unable to see ec2 what you can do just select services and then just select compute is the module once after selecting compute module here you can see ec2 now just select ec2 that's it so that it will open it will open existing details let me delete here you can see security groups let me delete here you just select all and deselect this default security group actions below here you can see delete security groups i mean whatever i have created i want to delete i just want to delete that's it that's only we have deleted i can just select ec2 dashboard just click on refresh so that this page will get updated just select here keep a select actions delete whatever the key i have created i just want to delete without deleting also you can create a computer but i just want to show you everything from the scratch now again just to select ec2 dash just click on this refresh option everything here you can see 0 0 here also 0 0 except one security this is the default security group deleting this default security group it is not possible what is the purpose of this default security group in our coming classes i will tell you now i just want to create one computer these are the two options one option is you can scroll down here you can see launch instance otherwise one more option where you can see instances just select instances after that you can see this kind of page here you can see launch instances both options will be re redirecting into one page only now we have to select all these options let me select let me create one computer here you can see amazon linux what is the difference between what is the difference among 
all these operating systems amazon red hat centos ubuntu everything we will discuss in our coming classes just to select here all right this is free tier we have selected free tier and t2 dot micro free tier eligible configure instance details one computer and then add storage here you can see 8 gb that is completely sufficient add tax i just want to give one meaningful name. for example i am just giving computer otherwise my computer you can give any name my computer configure security groups which which operating system we have selected linux that is the reason here you can see ssh secure shell port number 22 what is the meaning of this message later we will discuss review and launch i just want to create new keypad here also you can do any name which region we are creating this computer sydney this will be anyone sydney means this computer physically will be created in australia country not in india sydney computer you can give any sydney hyphen computer download keep it that's it successfully we have downloaded it launch instances either you can select here this is our computer number either you can select here otherwise here also you can select for example if i select you can see like this you can see this is instance id i mean computer number with this computer number it is filtered it is filtered that is the reason you can see like this for example if you have some other computers in this time the, in this moment it is not possible to see some other computers when you can see you have to clear filters just to select either here otherwise here okay as of now here you can see our computer is running this is instance check here you can see one option called status check this option also very very important status check what is the meaning of status check as of now you cannot see anything correct or not later you can see 2 by 2 later you can see something like this 2 by 2 you can see later like this now you cannot see it meanwhile i will draw the diagram we will discuss now we are discussing about the status checks sta tus status status checks in this status check generally two options are available those options are one is instance status check one is instance instance means computer instance means ec2 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 means i mean computer instance instance status check and another option is in this aws system status check system system status check these are the two options are available later there we can see 2 by 2 what do you mean by here 2 by 2 this is one and this is another one correct or not 1 plus 1 Two out of two, two both are working. For example, what do you mean by hundred out of hundred? Many people, for example, intermediate, otherwise tenth class, we get mathematics hundred marks out of hundred questions. That means out of hundred questions, you have given you have you have given correct answers for hundred questions. That is the reason your marks are. Hundred out of hundred, 
for example intermediate first year otherwise second year we have mathematics subject they many people generally we get 75 75 out of 75 that means out of 75 questions 75 correct answers you people given that is the reason generally we get did you get anyone yes i have given permission when it comes to mathematics subject did you get anyone 100 yes. out of 100 75 out of 75 yes sir it's all okay 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 that is really good okay really good Okay, guys. Again, I am going to new talk. Really, that is good. Seventy-five out of seventy-five, as well as hundred out of hundred. Exactly the same way. Hundred out of hundred means everything is correct. That is the reason you got these many marks. Here also, two by two means. What do you mean by two by two? This is one. This is another one. One plus one, two. Out of two, these two are working very good. These two are working very good. Those are one is instance, another one is system. Here, what do you mean by instance? What do you mean by system? I will create one diagram. Yearless people, they are managing, they are maintaining like this. This is like a one biggest physical infrastructure. This is one biggest physical infrastructure. PHY. Just I have written PHY. Biggest physical infrastructure means here you can see thousands of GB of RAM. Exactly the same way. Thousands of hard disk, thousands of hard disk capacity. You can see thousands of GB. Otherwise, hmm. even TB, TB hard disk capacity. You can see this is biggest physical infrastructure. Uncountable RAM. You can see uncountable hard disk capacity. You can see not only these things. motherboard so many motherboards high configuration motherboards and so many network related things i mean all the details which are very very important for creating computer that complete biggest physical infrastructure you can see aws company people they are maintaining like this they are maintaining like this once after creating this kind of biggest physical infrastructure biggest physical infrastructure Here, what they are doing on top of this biggest physical infrastructure, they are they are installing one software. They are installing one software. That software here we call it as virtualization software. Here I will write the software. Only. They are installing one software. This software here we call it as virtualization software. Virtualization. Virtualization software. What is the meaning of this virtualization software? In our coming classes, I will tell you. at the time of explaining about the docker software i will talk about this virtualization software as of now you people just think imagine on top of this biggest physical infrastructure they will they they already install one software that software is a virtualization software that virtualization software name aws company people using that is zen X E N Zen. In the market, you can see so many virtualization softwares like VMware, Hypervisor, ESXi, like that. So, what is the purpose? In our coming classes, I will tell you. Once after installing this kind of virtualization software on top of this biggest physical infrastructure, they are creating so many computers, uncountable computers. This is, for example, one computer. 
this is one computer one more computer like that multiple uncountable you can I, you can say uncountable so many computers they are creating all these computers are ec2 instances this is one ec2 instance this is one more ec2 instance like that all these are ec2 instances even you can call it as virtual machines even you can call it as virtual virtual computers mission means here which we are talking about which mission electronic mission computer computer also one of the electronic mission electronic so virtual machines either you can call it as easy to otherwise you can call it as computer otherwise even you can call it as virtual machine all these are ec2 instances so many ec2 instances so just now we have created one computer that means let's imagine we have created this computer otherwise maybe we have created this computer like this here first of all this one these ec2 computers we call it as instance instance means one computer when it comes to aws this is the word we have to use normally we call it as computer computer normal english language we use this word but aws we use instance is the word this this one we call it as instance and this biggest physical infrastructure we call it as system s y s t m system we call it as system it is like that this one we call it as system and this one we call it as instance so which is dependent on which one all these instances all these computers all these instances are depending on this biggest physical infrastructure that one we call it as system these all computers dependent on this one for example if something happens to this system and it is not at all working let's imagine this complete biggest physical infrastructure got failed in that scenario what will happen all these computers will not work because all these are dependent on this one it is like this this is three stairs building this is like a ground floor this is like a first floor this is like a second floor and this is like a third floor if i say hey can you please demolish this ground floor if i ask is my first floor second floor or third floor are safe if i ask this question i am the stupid person correct or not once if you collapse demolish this ground floor first floor second floor third floor even 300 floors also complete building will be collapsed because each and every floor is dependent on ground floor only correct or not exactly the same way here also if something happens to this system all these computers will not work everything will be collapsed everything will be collapsed always you can see 2 by 2 status check 2 by 2 means instance is working very good system also working very very good but sometimes you can see 1 by 2 sometimes you can see 0 by 2 what is the meaning of 1 by 2 1 by 2 means out of 2 1 is working one is another one is not working i mean 1 by 2 means here system is working instance is not working for example 0 by 2 means here system is not working if system is not working means automatically this ec2 instance also will not work exactly the same way. let me write it here sometimes you can see like this 1 by 2 instance 1 by 2 instance sometimes you can see 0 by 2 0 by 2 i mean here system got failed let me write it here also 1 by 2 means instance failed 
इंस्टेंट फेल्ड आई मीन एसिड इंस्टेंट फेल्ड जीरो बाई टू मीन सिस्टम फेल्ड If system is failing, automatically all EC2 instances also will get failed because everything is dependent upon system. System failed. If you want to do troubleshoot, out of hundred percent, almost ninety nine point ninety nine percent, every time you can see two by two only. But very very rare scenarios sometimes. you can see there is a possibility there is a possibility to see like this very very rare scenarios 1 by 2 or 0 by 2 what kind of troubleshooting steps we have to perform if you see like this you have to reboot let me show you first of all after the time will let's open here This is our instance. As of now, you cannot see anything. Let me refresh. Yeah, you can see now here two by two status checks passed. Even you can scroll it like this. Two by two checks passed. You just select this computer. If I don't select this computer, you cannot see all the details related to this computer. Once if I select here. Then only you can see these details. Not only that one. If I don't select, it is not possible to select these options. Nothing. You cannot see anything. It is not possible to select. Everything is grayed out. Now you just select. After selecting only, you can select all these options. Exactly the same way. Below also you can see so many, so many options. Here you can see status checks. Just select. Once after selecting status checks. you can scroll up here you can see this is scroll up and scroll down option you can see one symbol this is one symbol you just keep it with your mouse and you can drag like this you can drag once after dragging like this here you can see status checks info as of now 2 by 2 that means everything is working good System reachability check passed. System. This is instance reachability check passed. Instance means this EC2 instance. System means this biggest physical infrastructure. Here you can see info. Just select this info option. So that they have given what are the troubleshooting things you have to perform. In case if you see one by two here, otherwise zero by two. First, I will tell you about. instance here you can see this is system you just come down come down here you can see instance status checks they have given so many details so whenever you are having some free time you just read all these details especially they have given one option called reboot where you can see here you can see reboot to the instance what is the meaning of reboot reboot means it is like a restart Restart, restart. That is the meaning. Once if I select, once if I select actions, but here instance state. Can I see here reboot? Yes, here we can see reboot option. Correct, Anna. You can see here. Yeah, this is the reboot option. This reboot option we have to select. Once after selecting this reboot option, what will happen? let me write it here you have to select that reboot option once after selecting this reboot option when it comes to instance whenever you see 1 by 2 entire operating system entire operating system What are the operating system which is available in that EC2? It could be Windows or it could be Linux. The entire OS will be reloaded. Will be reloaded. Here our data is always secure. Whatever the data you are having, 
in that computer data is always safe there is no problem there is no problem for that data i mean always it is available data is safe whatever the data you have stored in that computer entire operating system will be reloaded that is the meaning of reboot reboot means it is like a restart now let's discuss about zero by two system if you see zero by two zero by two means system got failed because of that reason all ec2 instances also will get failed what they have given here option go here you can see system statistics so much of information they have given but one place i will show you one option that is here you can see restart they are saying that you can restart you can restart once if i select this instance instance state can you see restart option anywhere no correct or here restart means it is like a stop your computer first after that again start that is a meaning of restart that is a meaning of restart stop and then start here you can see stop after that again you can stop here you can see grayed out we have to select that one let me write and i will explain what will happen if you restart restart means stop and start because directly they did not give restart option we have to select stop and then start once if you do like this what will happen entire entire vm vm means that ec2 instance either you can call it as vm or ec2 instance entire that vm or ec2 migrate will migrate migrate to another physical infrastructure another biggest physical infrastructure another biggest in physical infrastructure okay. what is the meaning of this english sentence entire vm i mean ec2 instance will migrate to another biggest physical infrastructure let's come back to our diagram ws company people they are maintaining these kind of physical infrastructures so many for example here this is one physical infrastructure exactly the same way this is like a one more biggest physical infrastructure here also you can see thousands of gb of ram here also you can see thousands of tbs tbs are even more than that tbs of hard disk capacity biggest physical infrastructure physical infrastructure here also they are installing virtualization software one software they are installing one software installing that virtualization software here also you can see so many ec2 instances here i have written what i have written entire vm will migrate from one biggest physical infrastructure to another biggest physical infrastructure that means let's imagine because of some reason this is system i mean this is system got failed because of some reason there you can see zero by two. that means system got failed automatically this ec2 instance also will get failed in that scenario if you if you do like this stop and then start this ec2 instance otherwise some other ec2 instance i mean i mean whatever the ec2 instance you have created that ec2 instance complete ec2 instance i mean vm will migrate from this physical infrastructure to some other biggest physical infrastructure that ec2 mission will migrate from here to here here this system will be good let's imagine so automatically this ec2 instance will work very good it is like that this is the meaning of migrate in this scenario also 
our data is completely safe there is no problem for our data let me write it data is safe here also data is safe in these both options data is pretty much safe it is like this see guys for example do you know about data centers let me tell you what do you mean by i am explaining that here biggest physical infrastructure each and every company i mean big companies they are having their own biggest physical infrastructure this is system only in a technical word we call it as data center data center for example facebook data center otherwise maybe google company data center maybe oracle company data center let me show you so that you can understand it here here you can see if i take facebook company just very recently did you follow do you have facebook account did you follow mark zuckerberg otherwise you people are wasting time hmm, for chatting with some other people for example if you follow mark zuckerberg he is the founder of facebook almost around one year around one year he has opened one data center in australia australia region like that overall in each and every country many countries throughout the world so many data centers are he opened it is like this facebook data center just press enter one data center you can see like this just click on images this is like a biggest place they will take so much of place so many acres hundreds and thousands of acres in that place they will build up they will build this kind of biggest physical infrastructure you can see like here also you can see for example here like this biggest physical infrastructure in this biggest physical infrastructure they will keep whatever the details we need for creating one computer for working with one computer hundreds of thousands of gb of ram thousands of gb of hard disk capacity motherboard everything everything they will put here so that is the reason they will create uncountable computers like for example ec2 instance it is not only facebook data center you just imagine aws company data center data center means this is like a biggest physical infrastructure these kind of biggest physical infrastructures are available in each and every country each and every country almost even our india america china japan it could be all here only that complete data will be stored so here just now i have created one ec2 instance i mean this is our computer correct or not don't think like whenever you create one computer they are dedicating one physical computer for you no it is not like that whenever you create one ec2 instance we are getting this one ec2 instance for example if you create one computer you are getting this ec2 instance if i create one computer maybe i am getting this kind of ec2 instance it is like this all these computers are will be available where this kind of biggest physical infrastructures it is like this not only this one even if i type aws data center here also you can see like this so many acres of land they take and they do like this biggest physical infrastructure means i mean data center you can see like this so many network engineer people they work here i hope it is it is true okay each and every country you can see like this that is the only reason i told you right at the time of explaining our first class when i was talking about aws aws account creation in that time in that in that class so i said this kind of biggest physical infrastructure aws company people otherwise google company people otherwise microsoft company people they are maintaining in each and every country because of some natural disasters like a tsunami and earthquake even though if you lose so many countries on this planet still our data is completely safe and very very secure all our computers and as well as data out of out of so many countries 
even though if you lose half of the world still our computers and our data is completely safe because they are keeping this backup uh, backup mechanism in each and every data center throughout all data centers in all countries so this is the meaning of physical infrastructure i hope it is clear trouble shooting things just you have to restart restart means to stop and then start otherwise if you see instance failed in that in that moment you have to reboot that's it nothing more than that i hope it is clear so remaining topics we will discuss in our tomorrow's class all right so this is all about our today's class in case if you don't have any doubts you can skip this meeting if you are having any doubts related to our today's class otherwise our previous classes you can stay here you can ask all your doubts yes i have given permission did you understand yes. our today's class please respond yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. i have okay. a question hari ha huh, yes you can ask so me. you told that uh, we can able to create instance so can can we able to roll back it to previous state for example if we are installing an application on that instance is there is any option uh, to roll back it to the previous state ah uh, no that is not possible they did not give that option no no okay so as of now our instance is here running one if you want to close you you can close all these options and here also you can close these options yeah once after completing our work what you can do as of now you just terminate terminate instance means losing this computer forever deleting this computer for permanently it is like that when to stop i will tell you you people also create computer after that please turn it some people what they do they try to forget turn it some people they create computer in sydney after that they switch to mumbai after that they switch to for example cape town or some other region some other country and they try to stop computer in only africa otherwise they try to stop computer in only in mumbai but sometimes some people they forget to stop computer in some other region so please make sure that in which region you have created computer please make sure that please please terminate that computer don't forget are you understanding guys yes sir yes sir sir okay okay yes remaining people do you have any doubts from tomorrow onwards everyone please join 7:35 am sharp i will start our class Yes, sir. Okay, sir. I had a request from me, sir. Yes, yes, please. Sir, uh, after completion of the classes, sir, after two to three hours, they are sending the recorded videos also. Immediately, uh, we will send from two uh, yeah, hours. Yeah, immediately, uh, immediately, you are sending. It's okay, sir. But ah, uh, in that video, they are they are not giving the download option. Or if you uh, yeah, actually, it. download option is not possible because you know some of the students they are downloading and they are sharing it to some other students. So because of all these problems. but uh, we need for future yeah. reference also no sir yeah future reference you can see you can access all these recording videos more than one year our course is only two months correct or not to two months otherwise two months two weeks let's imagine three months our course is okay once after completing our course you can access all these recording videos 12 months i mean if you if you include everything almost 15 months you can access all these recording videos for example if you want to some more time access you just contact sai dm admin team people they will give you some more duration we don't have any problem for providing more duration always you can access all these recording videos there is no problem yeah okay okay thank you thank you okay yeah like this yeah remaining people any doubts from anyone hi hari uh, this is thiru yes hi please um hi uh in uh, recorded videos every day i am getting uh if they are marking in the number wise like order wise uh, uh, day 1 day 2 day 3 mm -hmm. like it will be helpful actually already okay. I definitely that. definitely i will make it because very recently we have started right yes so even some other people also they may they may try to join okay after completing 3 to 4 days i will okay. give the number system also okay okay, okay. that's good thank you
for each and every recording video yeah. i will give you number and the topic name yes. everything i will provide yeah thank you so thank you hari today class we get the materials uh for this today class we don't have any material this is completely uh, this session only you just go through this recording video what are the documents what are the topics for see you know some of the topics we have documents i mean for each and every topic for creating document it is not possible for example today we have explained about https what kind of document i can prepare correct or not Yeah, sorry, it, yes. it is like this for these status checks also we don't have any particular document whenever you see 2 by 2 1 by 2 or 0 by 2 you just do you you have to follow those kind of troubleshooting things i mean for whatever the concepts we have documents and it is possible to create definitely i will share with you all those documents these are actually very very simple simple concepts for documents are not required for these kind of simple concepts that is the reason Are you understanding? Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Hari, how many days uh, we can take uh, for AWS still? Yeah, still we have so many topics. First, I will explain about AWS, and then not only first, even during our runtime also, I will touch so many AWS concepts. Hari, This, uh, our complete course is like a mixed course. AWS, yeah. Linux with DevOps. Yeah, my request is, if possible, can you please uh, uh, tell us what are the topic you can explain next? Yeah, so many topics I will explain. Uh, uh, now don't think about all those things. I yeah, will explain is... so many topics. Uh, for example, S3, EC2, and the SNS and the AWS CloudWatch, like that. Yeah, okay, I understood. Uh, mm -hmm. What are the topic you want? Uh, you can explain tomorrow if you make it today. I mean, if you tell the topic, we can. Search it. We can get more knowledge on the uh, the topics. Yeah, see, <clears throat> you just blindly believe me. Whatever the topics are very very important. All those topics I will cover. Okay. 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 okay guys, have a nice day, all of you. We'll meet tomorrow. Oh, oh yeah. Thank you. Uh, Hari sir. Thank you, Hari. Yes, yes, please. Yes, please. जो एस एस एल वाला पार्ट था तो विल यू बी टेलिंग अस दैट वेयर टू अपलोड द की एंड द एस एस एल सर्टिफिकेट इफ हैव टू रिन्यू एनी एस टी टी पी एस 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 एल सर्टिफिकेट हाउ टू अपलोड एस एस एल सर्टिफिकेट मीन एक्चुअली नो नो लाइक लाइक वेबसाइट इट्स एस एस एल सर्टिफिकेट गॉट एक्सपायर्ड कस्टमर वॉन्ट्स अस टू रिन्यूल दो सर्टिफिकेट यस so we we need the key and the certificate from the customer so that we can renew it right correct 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 but can you please tell us like uh, where we have to upload those files yeah actually that is not our work networking team people they will do that work no because uh, this kind of task come uh, to us but uh, we are not able to do this so we have to escalate to it to the uh, l3 ah uh, okay okay Okay, I will tell you in our coming classes. I will tell. You. Okay, thank you. Yeah. All right. Hello, sir. Yes, yes, please. Yes, please. Sir, I am the Piman. Uh, today was my first lecture. Yes. Okay. Are you understanding? Yes, I attended all the demo lectures also. Okay. So uh, you mentioned that uh, if there is gap, you will help uh, mentioning about experience in DevOps. Yes. Yes. Correct. Correct. But uh, currently, I am in my final year. So still, I have okay. time to complete my. What you are studying? B Tech, Car M Tech, Car B S C. Electrical engineering. No, Electrical I... engineering. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that is good. That is good. So, as a as a fresher, also you can get the job because you are still yes. pursuing. Yes. As a fresher, you, you can get you can get the job as a DevOps engineer with more package. Yes. Thanks. At the time of preparing CV, I will tell you what to mention, what not to mention, and how to prepare your CV. We will discuss everything. Okay, I will talk to each one of you at the time of yes. preparing our CV. Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay, guys. Hmm? Have a nice day, all of you. We'll meet tomorrow. Yes, sir. Uh, thanks, sir. Yeah. All right. once after creating your computers please turn it